Hi, this is Jeanette from Happy Spots and Ink Spots. Today what I'd like to show you is how I color my magnolia images. I get a lot of questions about how I do the faces and the hair, so I thought that's what I'd show you today. The image I'm using is from the Raising the Ceiling Collection 2010 and is called Ladybug Tilda. When I color uh, my face and my hands, the skin tones, I almost always use the same colors. My lightest color is E treble zero. My mid-tone is E double zero. My darkest shade is E zero one. And for the cheeks, R20. I also always have my little blender, colorless blender pen. Um, so if I'm making a little mistakes, I can blend those away. Um, also, I use it sometimes to lighten up areas. So to start, I always use my lightest color, which is E triple zero. And I'm just going to work on her hands right now. I always work in small areas. That way my ink stays wet and it's easier to blend. So my next color up is going to be my E double zero. I'm just going to add that to where I would be seeing shading. The shadows would be falling. I'm going to blend it out just a little bit with my E treble before moving on to my shading color which is E01. I use a lot less of this. It's my darkest color and so if I put too much on I'm going to lose my graduated shading. Then I'm just going to go to my E treble and I'm just going to blend those lines out. Okay, so those are the hands. So I'm going to work on the face now. Let's see, make sure you can see this properly. All right, so with my E treble zero, I'm going to color in circles right around her face, like that. Now I'm going to leave the center part of her face uncolored. Next, I'm going to take my E double zero and I'm going to lay in a bit of shadow right around her face working in circles like that. I'm going to take my E treble again and just where I see that line where the two colors sort of went met together I'm going to blend it out but I'm still leaving the middle part uncolored. Then I'm going to take my E01 and I'm going to put in the shadows and I'm going to be careful not to add too much again just really around the edges of her face a bit on her neck. I'll take my E00 and I'll just blend out that line and then finally my E treble zero I blend out that line and I color inside the whole thing so everything is perfectly blended now to add the cheeks I take my R20 and I just sort of work here on the side I sort of just dab the cheek color on, like that. Same on the other side. So I get the intensity I want. Now I'm going to have to blend again. So for the darker part here, I take my E zero zero double zero and I'll blend out that line like that. Same on this side. Blend out the line. Okay. And then I take my E treble zero 
and I blend out the line here. Okay, so that is her um, hands and her face. For her hair, the colors I'm going to be using today are blonde tones, so it'll be E50, YR31, and Y26. So E50 is my lightest color. I'm going to start with that. And I just lay it on where her hair is. Like that. Then I take the YR31 and I go along here where there would be a shadow from her little um, bonnet and here as well. So I'm leaving a little area in the center that is light and that is going to be a highlight. And then I just come along and I color in her curls, leaving some areas still light colored. Now it's a small area. I don't really have to blend it, so I'm not going to. I'm going to go straight now to my darkest shade, which is Y26. And that, I'm going to put just very thin sort of border here. And then here along the tips of her bangs here. Then around here, around her face. And then just a few areas here and there where I would imagine there would be some shadows with her curls. Okay, Generally near the face I try to add a little more shadow. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my E50 and I'm just going to go over the whole area that blends the colors together. Okay, and then the last thing I do is I take my colorless blender and this is just going to push the color away where I put the blender. So I just want a more pronounced highlight right here so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, and it just pushes the color and I'll go in a few places here to just lighten up her hair and add some more highlights. Okay, so that's her hair and her face. I hope this helped. Um, I hope it answered some of your questions. And um, I will be doing some more videos like this. So thanks for stopping by and I'll see you again, I hope. Thanks. Bye.